I am here with a new vlog. Um, as you can tell by the title, this is actually my supply list and what I'm bringing with me to surgery. Um, everyone has their own list. It changes, depends on um, if you're staying at a recovery house, if you're doing a hotel or Airbnb, if you're going back home. Once again, it all depends. I'm an overthinker, overanalyzer. I like to plan everything down to the T. So a lot of the stuff that I have, you might not need, but I will definitely walk you guys through it. Um, I'm actually nine days pre-surgery. So I got like nine more days left. It is July 18th, I think today's date is. And I leave July 26th. So <laughs> we're counting down the days, baby. All right, y'all. So let's get into the video. So here we have poise pads. I got these from Walmart. Um, I only bought the one that came in 20 because I felt like, what's the point of me buying like 30 something pads? These you're gonna put over your incisions. It's gonna help with your drainage. You put it over each incision and it's supposed to soak up everything so you're not like leaking all over the place the first few days. These didn't cost me more than eight bucks in Walmart. So definitely make sure you got yourself some pads. Next I have my lipo foam. I got this off of Amazon. I actually have lipo foams already that came with my package that I paid extra for but I wanted a set just in case because I've heard people say that you can't even wash them so it was like to put these with the foams you know you want to keep yourself as sanitized as possible so I just went ahead and got some extra sets I might leave these at my boyfriend's house because after I'm going straight to his house I'm not gonna come to Long Island because it makes no sense because I can't drive and a lot of the places in Long Island with the massage therapist I have to drive to them so I might just leave these at his house and use them for when I come back. Okay, so I went and bought knee pads because you're sitting on your knees a lot. Your knees are going to get bruised. And when I mean sitting on your knees, you're literally squatting on your knees majority of the time. Yeah, so hurt. if you want, you can invest in it. If not, don't even bother spending your money on them. I got them on Amazon. They weren't no more than 15 bucks, honestly. If I spent 15 bucks on this, that was a lot. I don't even want to open it yet, but, and these are really, really good. They have good reviews on these, so there's that. <clears throat> what I also got on Amazon, compression socks. These are very important. You have to stay in these for a week, a week. Got them on Amazon as well. And a lot of the stuff that you're going to hear me say the prices, the reason why I paid what I paid for them is because I wanted certain things i wanted like only pink and black and white stuff so i had to pay more money obviously because of the color combination i was doing because i'm a little extra but these are small medium and you know where i messed up at i never tried them on because i heard these are super hard to get on really experiencing everything with me because i don't know why i didn't try these on before oh my goodness my boyfriend is gonna have a tough time getting these on me okay this wasn't too bad okay so yes, small, medium, they actually went up not too bad. They're supposed to, you're supposed to keep these on for seven days, 24 seven. And obviously this helps provide compression to your legs to prevent any blood clots, um, blood circulation, you know, so you definitely want to make sure that you have these. Your clinic will probably provide you with a pair, but once again, those are going to get soiled. They're going to get dirty. You don't want to be walking around with dirty stuff on you for seven days. So I'm definitely recommending getting getting these and i have the one six so that's perfect the other one will make seven one for each day so the north carolina very 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 important if you are staying in an airbnb or hotel if you're staying in a recovery house don't even bother with the shower liner it makes no sense this is to help protect the mattress this is key because what you don't want is to be charged fees when you're checking out and they go to clean the room and they realize that you've soiled their mattress and their sheets and everything. This I got in Dollar Tree for a dollar. Do not bother going on Amazon. Do not go to Walmart. Do not go to Target. You're going to spend ridiculous money. Dollar Tree, a dollar. Wim, wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. You're done. Gloves. This is essential to get gloves. Once again, you can get gloves anywhere. Amazon, Walmart, Target, Dollar Tree. You can get them anywhere. This is for 
people that are coming with me so that everybody stays sanitized when you're touching me, when you're dealing with me, when you're washing my faha, my sock, my drink. Mama is. This is key, okay? And I'm smiling, I'm laughing because you're gonna laugh when you see how much things I have for hydration. My biggest fear is passing out. I don't wanna pass out because my blood is too low. I don't wanna pass out because I am dehydrated. I just, that's why I'm smiling so hard. So this is called Liquid IV. It has amazing reviews on it. I got this on Amazon. This is actually, I wanna say I paid about $25. And it only comes with 16, so that's perfect, 16 pouches. And I think I got the passion fruit flavor, you know. Yes, I did, I had the passion fruit flavor. So it comes in different flavors. I bought these little soothers, which is supposed to help with your upset stomach. It's a lemon, ginger, and honey drops. I got this in Walmart. I don't even think I paid four bucks for this. Like if I paid $4 for it, that'll be a lot. Um, this is gonna help with after anesthesia, your medication. Um, some places give you like Percocet and stuff like that. I don't do good with those kind of drugs. So there's a great possibility that I'm not even gonna take them. They make me extremely nauseous and they make me just, I hate the way they make me feel. So if I do decide to take them, I know these are gonna be my best friend. Cough drops, cough drops, cough drops, cough drops. For some people this is important, for some people it isn't because a lot of people say, oh, when I woke up I was perfectly fine. They put a tube down your throat. So therefore there's a possibility that you're gonna come out with a sore throat and it can last for a couple days. So you wanna make sure that you have cough drops. I actually got these from Amazon. It comes with 20, 20 in there. This didn't even cost me four bucks. So dirt cheap or you could get them in Dollar Tree for a dollar. I'm just lazy. And because I'm a flight attendant, I'm always on the go. So sometimes I didn't have time to purchase my items. So I just bought everything on Amazon because it was easier. But I'm telling you right now, sometimes Amazon, it overcharges you. And you really can save cost and cut cost by going to Dollar Tree for a lot of your supplies that you're going to need. So keep that in mind. Another thing I'm laughing at because this is going to crack me up. And I know my boyfriend's probably going to get a kick out of this. Your urinal. So remember, you just got your booty done, you just, or you just got lipo, you just got a tummy tuck. It's gonna be hard for you to sit, stand, all this kind of stuff. If you can, more power to you. I listen, hey, but I'm gonna try to make the best of this. So it's a female urinal, you know, you put it right through the faha hole and you pee. You can pee standing up, you don't have to worry about sitting down or anything. I got this off of Amazon, it comes with a cute little pouch. So you put it in there. And you're good to go uh this was no more than 10 bucks and it's crazy how i remember where i got everything from and price ranges of everything but you shouldn't spend more than 10 dollars on this like when it get it's up to you this is not mandatory is a thermometer there's a possibility that you can run a fever if you run a fever that means you have to go to the emergency room but i got a thermometer this you probably would have never thought that you would have seen the day that you was wearing female diapers huh <laughs> So this goes back to why I said that I didn't bother getting a big pack of pads because if I'm gonna have this on, it, it, to me it defeats the purpose. Um, but this is actually depends, female you know, depends. I got it in a large, so hopefully the large should be fine to fit over my booty and to fit over my faha. Um, right now everything that I wear, I'm a medium, but I just went with the large and cold of the day. Um, this is gonna help catch fluids as well. So once again, you're not draining all over the floor and actually comfortable to be in i've heard some girls say that they actually go to the bathroom in them like they pee in them and stuff like that but i don't know about all of that for me that might not be for me but <laughs> more power to you this comes with 17 in there which i think should be enough for me to be there for six days i got this in walmart as well same price range no more than 15 bucks i spent for these so you want to make sure you got you some um, next thing is an ace bandage this is not a part of my list i actually got this because my massage lady that's going to be coming to massage me actually told me to get these so i guess she requires these i got dial bacterial hand soap um this is just to have in the hotel room for everybody to wash their hands once again i want everybody to stay as sanitized as possible i want us all to stay sanitized as possible um once again you're prone to infections during this time so I just got dial hand bacterial soap for me to keep in the hotel room. This I got in Walmart, if I remember correctly, and it was no more than two bucks. Once again, if you're gonna have a rental car and you get to wherever your destination is and you're gonna go there and 
do shopping then you don't have to get these things but once again like i said i'm a planner so i just got everything right off the rip next thing is your chucks um under pads chucks whatever you want to pp pads whatever you want to call them this one comes with 25 in there i'm actually gonna order more when i get to miami and have them delivered to my hotel so i'm probably gonna order it the day before i leave so that it gets there so that it gets there the day of surgery hopefully it should be there by then um this i don't remember but i got off of amazon i don't think i spent more than 25 bucks on them and I think that's me pricing it a little too high. But you can definitely get them off of Amazon. They come in a 25 count, 50 count, 100 count. Do not, do not, do not, do not, do not get doggy pads because they have a chemical in there that's no good for us. And it does not do well with your skin and what you're going to be using them for. This you're going to be putting down on the bed. You're going to be putting down on the floor so you can leak freely. You're going to be putting it in the car if you are you know in a rental or even if you're taking an uber from you know from your clinic to your space you definitely need to invest in these these are amazing um once again like i said if you're staying in a recovery house then this is you don't need this like you don't need this you don't need the antibacterial hand soap you don't need the diapers because they they're possibly that they're going to supply i bought these little tide packets laundry detergent once again in walmart i got them in the travel section for like a dollar um whatchamacallit dollar tree also has them as well so you could definitely get these there and once again it's to do laundry um it's not just me it's me and my boyfriend it says it does one load but i think you could probably get two loads out of this um so this is just to wash my file and stuff and mainly for my boyfriend as well so he can wash his clothes because he's crazy about having clean clothes so make sure you got you some detergent if you're staying in an airbnb or a hotel if you're staying in a recovery house it's I got me some straws y'all because when you get out of surgery and you're laying down on your stomach because you can't lay on your back or your side and you want to take a sip of water you don't have to bend your head and strain or anything you got your straws just put it to your mouth sip easy a bacterial clorox wipes once again to keep everywhere sanitized to wipe down the hotel this comes with 15 once again walmart dollar tree obviously dollar tree there'll be a dollar walmart i got them in the dollar i'm um, in the dollar travel section and these were about i want to say one to two bucks they're cheap i bought myself black rags and this is just for when it's time for me to shower which is the next day after surgery i can shower I don't like seeing all that ickiness on there, the iodine, blood, oil, whatever it is, because they put a whole bunch of stuff on you. I was about to cuss. Got these in Dollar Tree, dollar for two. This is the holy grail, okay? Eight hour Tylenol, muscle and aches and pains. This one actually has 650 milligrams, okay? So you can probably take two of these and that's 1300 right there and you're good to go um tylenol extra strength is also the other thing that i'm going to be bringing with me as well so make sure you got yourself some tylenol eight hour muscle and aches and pains i've seen a lot of girls recommend these and said it has been amazing for them i got it on amazon i want to say i didn't spend more than ten dollars for this great bio oil i didn't even realize that i bought these i thought i didn't but i guess i did buy them bio oil which is going to help with your scars and stuff you really don't need this until like a couple weeks after when your incisions close you don't need this right away but once again like i said i'm a planner and i bought these so that i can have them on deck i got this on amazon i remember i got this on amazon <laughs> hydrogen peroxide once again walmart dollar tree they were a dollar um this is going to help with getting out blood stains out of anything out of your file you can put your file how to sit and soak in, soak in them once again you may not need these if you're staying at a recovery house you don't have to buy these now you can actually buy these when you get there as well but i like to be prepared so i know you're probably thinking oh my god is she gonna be checking a bag because she has all this stuff i'm a flight attendant so it kind of helps without having to pay the bag fees and stuff like that and also if you're going to have surgery you can actually get a medical bag checked for free so if you tell them hey um i'm going to have surgery this is actually a medical bag 
thank me later sis thank me later but i don't know if every airline does that but thank me later girl all right so i bought a pulse ox reader not a necessity like i said you don't so arnica joe and arnica cream these are going to help with your bruising and your swelling. I cannot stress this enough. These are important for your massages. They use them during your massages. Once again, it helps with muscle pain, stiffness, your bruising, your swelling, everything. Make sure you got these on Dizek. Okay, I cannot stress them enough. I got both of them off of Amazon. Um, they're 4.2 ounces. One is 4.1, one is 4.2. So once again, you're going to have to check a bag. If you don't want to check a bag, then you got to limit the sizes that you get on a lot of these stuff but once again i got these on amazon you could get these in dollar tree you could get them in amazon you get them in walmart you could get them in target um dollar tree i think gives you about two bars for a dollar so definitely the way to go i got these off of amazon is three bars i don't even think i paid three bucks for them they was like 344 maybe if that um so once again this is important you're going to use this the day of surgery the night before of surgery to clean your skin once again it's an antibacterial soap so it'll help it makes no sense getting heavy cleanse i see people say oh get heavy cleanse and this i'm not doing that because number one heavy cleanse doesn't set up like regular soap does and it does the same thing one is cheaper than the other cheaper than the other and it does the same job so definitely and some places recommend that you shower with this for like two weeks don't use it on your kitty cat because it will definitely cause you to have yeast infection arnica tea once again, I told y'all what it's for. You could get it on Amazon, you could get it in your drugstore, you could get it in Target, Walmart, um, supermarket, anywhere. Oh, my palm is I'm about to get some money. Yes. Some places recommend that you take this a week before. You can take it the day you come out of surgery. Once again, it's gonna help with swelling, keep you hydrated. Uh, this cost me about no more than $5. I don't remember the price on this one too much because this is like out of mind, out of sight kind of thing. What is it? Out of sight, out of mind? Whatever. Anyway, yes. So make sure you have yourself. I'm not taking the pills because I've heard of people having really bad reactions to the pills of it having their heart race and all that stuff. Some places recommend you take the Arnica tablets. If you want to and your body doesn't have any reaction to it, then blessings to you. But I'm just going to stay away from it and just stick to the tea. I have flushable wipes so these i got in walmart in a three pack and they were about 9.97 if that i think i might be pricing them too high again but once again walmart target dollar tree you get them anywhere um these are very important because once again the first day you come out you're not going to be able to shower if you want to just do like a little wipe down to feel a little fresh these are your way to go obviously when you go to the bathroom if you're going to poop these are good to go then using regular toilet paper these will clean you out better so flushable wipe oh, my box has got all jacked up pedialyte y'all thought i was playing with this hydration bro i got arnica tea i got the liquid IV, and now i got pedialyte um this one has more sodium in it than the iv is 650 but oh that rhyme more than the iv 650 okay but anyway <laughs> this has six in there I got these off of Amazon. Right. Electrite. Electrolytes. I can't speak today. Electrolytes. Bromelaine. So, you might not know what this is, but this is actually what you get in pineapples. But you actually get it more from pineapple skin. So, pineapples is also another big part of recovery. It helps with swelling. It's an antioxidant. It, it does amazing. So, I actually just brought the pill. I'm gonna eat a lot of pineapples and drink a lot of pineapple juice but i figured i might as well just get the pill as well um i got this off of amazon i want to say no more than nine bucks and collates it's a laxative you might not be able to go to the bathroom after being under anesthesia without the um the antibiotics and the pain meds having all those meds in your system you're definitely going to need some laxative because you might be constipated i got this off of amazon it comes with 10 bottle 10 tablets you could get it once again in walmart target i'm not sure if i see dollar tree do have them dollar tree has laxatives so you can get it anywhere this is a two-in-one so it's a stool softener and a laxative um i might just take this the day i come out 
because it's better to take it and not wait until you are constipated to then take it it doesn't it doesn't serve its purpose but i might take it prior because i need to go i need to go and i'm hoping i could do everything by myself because i don't know how my boyfriend's gonna feel about wiping my ass after i take the shit i don't i don't know but anyway yeah i got a back scratcher <laughs> And I got one because your skin gets super itchy after surgery. I uh, got it on Amazon. I want to say I didn't pay. If I paid $10 for this, it was a lot. I didn't even pay a lot of this. And I just got these like two days ago. So. Your legs because you can't bend. It does the job. I might not need this until maybe a week or two. But I'm going to keep it. Keep it on my boyfriend's house. Just in case. It's like a scratch. Scratch, scratch, scratch. You bring with you is Benadryl. I have Benadryl. I keep Benadryl on deck, so that's why I didn't buy any. Um, so you definitely want to keep that with you as well. Um, another thing I didn't show you guys. So I seen someone have this on their thing, and I was like, an extension cord. It makes sense because if you're in a hotel or Airbnb, there's only two sockets. You don't want to have to have your phone over there charging, your laptop, your iPad, whatever. I have almost every gadget so i just bought this so that everything is in one spot everything is close to me i don't have to worry about damn baby do, i'm gonna do these two neck and neck when i come out of here cbd gummies baby i got two different types one has the oh my god you can't even see but one has the delta eight and this one has 400 milligrams of cbd and 400 milligrams of delta eight I might try this one just to see it's supposed to relax you and help with pain this one has 500 i think milligrams in it of cbd i gotta look we got bedroom slippers i got these on amazon these was like 15 bucks okay just dropping stuff bedroom slippers just for me to walk around the hotel in i don't like my feet touching the floor <laughs> and that's anyway even in my own house it just feels weird but i got bedroom slippers amazon i also got some bandu tops off of amazon as well these you're gonna put under your faja because you don't want to have any bra on you don't want to leave any indentation okay on your skin so i got some bandu tops off of amazon this is a three pack i got all these cute dresses because you're gonna be in dresses all day. So I got little cute night dresses. As you can see, see the color scheme, like I told y'all. Uh, about four dresses is good. This is actually an extra large, so it'll give you room to be in a faja, you won't feel snug. This one I got in Walmart. So I got this in Walmart. Once again, 10 bucks, dirt cheap. I washed everything in case you haven't realized I washed everything like I washed the washcloth I, I did everything these I got in and I never pronounce it right so don't laugh at me pronounce it right but I got it in Shein 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 whatever that website is called no more than seven dollars I got these nightgowns for and I think this might be an extra large as well or a large so I basically went between large and extra large just to give yourself some room and everything and then you can use these even after surgery. Like you can use these to lounge around the house and stuff like that. So I bought, let me see, I bought another one in pink, pink and black. As you can see, my color scheme is pink black. Like I bought about, let me see, one, two, three, four. Then I bought, once again, all of these came off of Shein, whatever, Shein website. A nice little maxi dress that I could put on if I'm like feeling better that I could walk around with and go outside this is a medium but it has enough room so I know it'll fit so I'm not worried about that oh my god it smells like laundry detergent it smells so good so there's that and then I bought another one in black that I could like go walk around dresses four nightgown dresses that I could alter alternate with just in case if I'm like you know leaking a lot of fluids and stuff and my boyfriend will be able to go wash it if anything one thing i didn't show you guys because i have already 
it's toiletries so i have all that stuff once again i'm a flight attendant so all that stuff stays in my bag already but you want to make sure you have toothpaste deodorant a toothbrush lotion vaseline for your lips because some people will say their lips get really really dry or carmex whatever it is that you use on your lips um don't bother pocketing any panties don't bother pocketing any i can't speak because i'm battling my accent right now don't bother packing any panties or bras because you're not going to use them it leaves indentation on your skin you're not going to wear panties for a couple months unless you're wearing thongs so don't even bother wasting your time packing them and have so if you have old sundresses that you don't really care about messing up or getting rid of be more than welcome to get those you don't have to go out and buy all these new things if you don't mind i don't have these things because i typically don't wear stuff like that but this is an old sundress i had so i was like i'm just gonna bring it with me it's tight already but i'll probably just leave it out there and call it a day and the holy grail of the holy grail of everything is a robe as you can see my robe is pink the robe is very important this is what you're gonna wear into surgery this is what you're gonna wear majority of the time going in and out of surgery this is what you're gonna wear because coming out you're probably going to be freezing i got this off of amazon I think I probably spent about $30 on this because I wanted what I wanted, like I said. Um, yeah, this is going to be what you're going to wear majority of the time. If you got your massages at your clinic going back and forth, you'll probably be in this and just this with your faja underneath or those dresses. So that's why I said it's up to you. You could get both, but some people just go with the robe and that's what they do the entire time. I wanted a mixture of both just in case. Um, so yeah, you're going to wear this going in and coming out. You're probably going to be freezing. So... You want to invest in something that's going to keep you warm, even though it's really not going to help much. Because if you've never been under anesthesia, the freezing that you're feeling is literally like inside your body. It's not like, oh my God, I'm so cold. Let me put something and I'm going to warm up. Another thing that you can invest in as well, I want to say, make sure you bring these with you just in case because you never know how your skin is going to react. But make sure you get yourself some seamless tanks or some seamless camis. And these you're going to wear under your faja because you don't want to get faja burns, nor do you want faja indentations because they definitely, your skin is sensitive and it's definitely going to leave marks in your skin. I got these off of Amazon. It came in like six packs, um, sorry, six pairs in a pack. And uh, I can't remember how much I spent on these. I want to say I spent about 20 something bucks on them because they are a little bit more pricey because they're seamless. So I'm just going to bring two of them with me. I probably won't even need it until like day three or something. But I'm bringing them just in case because you never know. I'm not bringing this with me. I'm actually going to leave this at my boyfriend's house. And it's basically one of those rollers that you know you can do this and that with. And I want to be able to self-administer my massages as well. Because you want to make sure you get all that fluid out. You want to make sure that you're going to drain. He can do it. I can do it. Um, it'll help shape you. Because like I said, don't... Some damn massages is, is expensive, especially in New York, compared to what you would spend somewhere else, hella expensive. So this is what it looks like, and you know, you just roll, 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 roll. So I make sure I, I leave this at his house, because my outside shoes, my outside to go to the clinic with and everything, because I was like, first I was like, oh, I'll just bring my regular slides. I want my Gucci slides or something, no. I don't want to get any fluid on it. I don't want to get it messed up. So I just got these off of Amazon. These wasn't even 15 bucks on Amazon. These were dirt cheap. I think I spent like nine something, eight something on these. Dirt cheap Amazon, quick, easy. I could wear these in the airport, coming back, wear them to go run the errands. I don't need to bring anything crazy. So I actually bought like a, I don't like this material. It's spandex. I thought it was like velour. Is that how you say it? Velour? Cotton? Something? I don't know. But this is my go-home outfit. I bought a large. So it's just a hoodie. It's just a little hoodie. Once again, Amazon. I just bought this a couple days ago because I was like, holy shit, I don't have something to go home in. Um, and the pants is big enough. I don't have to worry. Loose enough. So... I have something to go home in and I didn't want to do the maxi dress thing. I'm just like, everybody does that. Granted, I really don't care who sees me, but <laughs> yeah. So this will be my go home outfit. Pink and black, like I said. And also bring panty liners um, to put it inside your faja to kind of help 
with leakage or anything like that from going to the bathroom um you want to make sure once again the other good thing about having these some people start their period right after for some sense of reason it jump starts your period with all that trauma on your body so these also come in handy just in case if you start your cycle or if you want to use tampons which would be easier but i've heard some girls say you take this and you like put it in the faja with the opening of the hole is that i showed you and it works perfectly just fine you can use that you can use the cup you can use the tampons like i said you don't want to overbuy and buy things in excessive um because you're probably not even going to use half the stuff that you purchase a lot of this stuff is also for aftercare as well when i come back um i could have probably minimized some of the stuff that i bought but then again i'm just like no i didn't the other thing i forgot to mention is i have ensure i didn't buy these um my mom gets these for me and i figured what is the point of me spending money when i get to walmart to get them to florida when i have some here so i'm probably just gonna bring two of these because these are not my favorite i freaking hate them but i wanted to just have these for the first two days so i'm just gonna bring two because it takes me about two days just to finish a full bottle literally i kid you not so um i definitely am bringing this as i'm only bringing two um i'm trying to think if i could have eliminated stuff but i don't think so i think i pretty much got the basics of, of things um once again like i said the most important things that you really this is what i'm bringing with me this is my packing list um any questions you can leave them down below as i mentioned before if you do not believe in this process if this isn't a process that you're interested in then please don't bother wasting both of our times and leaving crazy comments and whatever else it is this is a journey and it's a journey meant to it's a journey meant to enjoy so you definitely excuse me that freaking juice is making me go crazy um oh yeah the other thing make sure you have your bondage and head ties i know as girls we don't forget that shower caps those kind of little essentials like i said i didn't show that stuff because those are typically stuff i have in my bag already but you want to make sure you have lotion you know hair ties deodorant uh toothpaste toothbrush if you use mouthwash uh floss those kind of things but once again you probably won't even need all that stuff so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed my video. And thanks for watching. You guys will see the next video of me getting to Miami. I'm so